morning, uh, honorable judges, registrar and the registry. Good morning uh, also to the public. Uh, let me start by thank uh, the honorable judges uh, who take uh, really the time to examine all matters since uh, we are not in the session. As you know, the session uh, uh, ended uh, in June and uh, we extended uh, by some days in order to deliver justice because we have some urgent, we had some urgent matters. So today will be the delivery of uh, those uh, judgments. I will now give the floor to the registrar to tell us about those judgments we have been delivering today. Thank you, Honorable President. Uh, good morning, Honorable Judges. Honorable uh, President, uh, at this sitting, the court will be delivering uh, three judgments. Uh, judgments on application 018 of 2018, Jebra Kembole against the United Republic of Tanzania. The second judgment will be application 001 of 2019, Ramadani Issa Malengo against United Republic of Tanzania. Thereafter, the court will rise and be reconstituted for the last judgment, which will be 004 of 2019, Subi, Gohore, and others against the Republic of Cote d'Ivoire. I thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Uh, I think we start with uh, Ramadan. Yes, sir. Okay. Pour le public uh, qui nous suit depuis donc la Côte, la Côte d'Ivoire, uh, la décision concernant Subi Gohore. For the people listening to us from Côte d'Ivoire, the decision on uh, Gohore will be uh, rendered after these uh, two other uh, uh, judgments that are going to be rendered now. Uh, the first uh, judgment to be delivered, I mean Ramadani, Ramadani Issa Malangu versus Tanzania, I will give the floor to the Vice President. Vice President. Microphone, Vice President. Yeah, I thank you, Mr. President and honorable colleagues. This is the judgment of the court in application for review number 001, 2019, in the matter of Ramadan Isamalengo versus the United Republic of Tanzania. The court composed of Silve Ore, President, Ben Kyoko, Vice President, Rafa Benashu, Angelo B. Matuse, Susan Menge, M. Therese Mkamliza, Trujilane R. Chizumila, Shafika Ben Saula, Blaise Chikaya, Stella I. Anukam, judges, and Robert Eno, registrar. In accordance with Article 22 of the Protocol to the African Chapter on Human and People's Rights, on the establishment of an African Court on Human and People's Rights, and rule, and, and rule 8.2 of the Rules of Court, Justice Imani D. Abud, member of the court and the National of Tanzania, did not hear the application. The representation of uh, the United Republic of Tanzania was, uh, Ramadan Isamalengo was self-represented and the United Republic of Tanzania was represented by Dr. Clement J. Maishanda, Solicitor General, Office of the Solicitor General, Ms. Sarah Maipopo, Acting Deputy Attorney General, Director, Division of Constitutional Affairs and Human Rights, Attorney General's Chambers, Mr. Baraka Luvanda, Director, Legal Unit, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, East Africa Regional and International Corporation, 
Ms. Nikasori Sarakikia, Deputy Director, Human Rights and Principal State Attorney, Attorney General's Chambers. Ms. Alessia Boya, Assistant Director, Constitutional Affairs and Principal State Attorney, Attorney General's Chambers. Ms. Mark Mulwambo, Principal State Attorney, Attorney General's Chambers. Ms. Baka A. Murisha, Senior State Attorney, Attorney General's Chambers. After deliberation, who renders the following judgment, the parties. Ms. Ramadani Issa Malengo, here in after referred to as the applicant, is a national of the United Republic of Tanzania and a tobacco farmer. He resides in Kegwa village, Tabora region. The application is filed against the United Republic of Tanzania, which became party to the African Charter on Human and People's Rights on 21 October 1986 and to the protocol on 10 February 2006. On 29 March 2010, it also deposited the declaration under Article 346 of the protocol, through which it accepted the jurisdiction of the court to receive cases from individuals and non-governmental organizations. On 21 November 2019, the respondent state deposited with the chairperson of the African Union Commission an instrument withdrawing its declaration. The withdrawal will take effect on 22 November 2020 and thus has no bearing on this instant application. Uh, subject of the application, um, on 4 December 2019, the applicant filed an application for review of the court's ruling of 4 July 2019 in the matter of Ramadani Samalengo versus the United Republic of Tanzania. In this regard, the applicant submits that the court heard in his ruling that he had not exhausted local remedies and advised that he did so through civil case number 163 of 2000, determined by the High Court, and civil cases number 108 of 2009 and number 76 of 2011, decided by the Court of Appeal of Tanzania on the one hand. And by failing to take cognizance of the aforementioned cases in his determination of the application number 030 of 2015, on the other hand, justifies this application for review. According to the applicant, his contractual dispute with a corporate society was unfairly handled by the municipal courts. He especially submitted that he was awarded trivial damages and that his claim of defamation and his application for taxation of the bill of course who are wrongly, wrongfully dismissed. The African father alleges that he was unlawfully confined in the regional, crime officers, uh, regional crimes officer's office in Tabora for a period of eight hours. On 8 July 2019, the court rendered the ruling as follows. Dismisses the objection to his material jurisdiction declares that it has jurisdiction, dismisses the objection on admissibility based on non-compliance with the Constitutive Act of the African Union and the Charter, declares that the application failed to exhaust local remedies, declares the application inadmissible. The court therefore dismissed the applicant's initial application. The ruling is the subject of this re review. <laughs> Prayers of the parties. The applicant prays the court to review his judgment of 4 July 2019, order the respondent state to pay him 2 billion 500 million Tanzania shillings as general damages, and 4 billion 272 million 468 thousand and 600 Tanzanian shillings as reparations for breach of his rights, and 3 order any other relief as it deems fit and just. The respondent state praised the court to declare this application for review inadmissible and dismiss it in its entirety. Jurisdiction. Um, the court is required to, ex to conduct a preliminary examination of its jurisdiction pursuant to Article 3 and 5 of the protocol. And in the instant case, the court knows that the application fulfills the requirements of Rule 26.1 of the rules that is based on the review, as it is based on the review of the court's own judgment in light of alleged new evidence and thus finds 
that it has jurisdiction on admissibility as regards the filing of the application within six months of the discovery of new evidence, the court notes that the applicant did not submit on when he discovered the alleged new evidence. Nevertheless, the application having been filed on 4 December 2019, that is five months after the delivery of the ruling of 4 July 2019, is deemed to have been filed within the six months time limit and in accordance with Rule 67.1 of the rules. The court notes that the applicant merely restates some allegations which the court had already examined in his ruling. Also, he advances detailed submissions which stem from the same factual basis and which only seeks to substantiate the previous allegations in the initial application. With respect to the inadequate representation and the financial difficulties of the applicant allegedly caused by the breach of contract, the court observes that they were not brought forth to the attention of the court at the time of delivery of the ruling. Moreover, they do not constitute new evidence that would not have been in the foreknowledge of the applicant at the time of delivery of the ruling. And as such, the applicant should have argued the same before the court's delivery of its ruling. Even so, the said information has no bearing on the court's ruling that the applicant failed to exhaust local remedies. Therefore, the court declares the application for review inadmissible and dismisses it. Course, the parties did not make any submissions on costs. The court therefore rules that each party should bear its own costs. Operative part. For these reasons, the court unanimously declares that it has jurisdiction declares that the application was filed within the prescribed time limit of six months, declares that the supporting documents submitted by the applicant do not constitute new evidence, declares that the application for review of the ruling of 4 July 2019 is inadmissible and is dismissed, decides that each party shall bear its own course. The composition of the court uh, is as was read at the beginning. Done at Arusha this 15th day of the month of July in the year 2020 in English and French, the English text being authoritative.